We've got a 1969 Corvette T-top. What's a little special about this, it's a 350 with 350 horsepower. That was the most potent 350 they offered. Uh, Four-speed transmission, posi rear end. All three components are number matched to this car. It has factory air conditioning as well. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the information, study the pictures. That's where you'll find the price tag along with a monthly finance option on every car we have for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified when the new ones are posted. For right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. I don't know for a fact, but my intuition is telling me this is a body off frame restored car. Uh, the frame is just smooth as can be, painted in nice, clean, semi-gloss black and you don't see overspray all over everything, so it's not like they just went under there with spray cans. Uh, so it looks like a frame-off restored car. The raw fiberglass floors are real clean, and I did say raw fiberglass. That's the way they left the factory. They were not painted. These are not painted on. Uh, the front end suspension, steering, that all looks new. It looks like it's all been replaced. These do have independent suspension in back. And it looks like it was all apart at one time, uh, not very recently, but it was all apart. It's still all very clean. Uh, some miscellaneous components look pretty fresh. So suspension and steering looks to be in excellent shape. Uh, it has the correct type dual exhaust system that looks real nice, coming right out through the valance with the polished stainless tips. Uh, disc brakes at all four wheels. Uh, you know, all that system is real nice. You look up at the motor, it's really nice, clean, Chevy orange, the starter, fuel pump, all that looks clean. It has its VIN number matching. It's an M20 close ratio Muncie four speed trans. It has its original dated, correct coded 336 Posi rear end. It also has the complete spare tire carrier that's all there. So underneath this car looks exceptionally clean, proper, the way it should be. I didn't see any damage, rust, or issues. Now let's check out the body. Uh, it lines up nice. The headlight buckets all line up nice. The hood lines up real nice. If you look for it, there's some subtle bumps along here. There's rivets underneath the fiberglass, and some of them do show that. Uh, this one, it's, it's mild, but it's there. Hairline crack right on this peak here. Another common issue with Corvettes, and it's a hairline crack. But all this seems to fit very nicely. I don't see any damage. It's all nice. The door is real nice. No issues, no damage to the fiberglass. This is all, all real nice. I don't see any issues. Yeah, body's looking really good. I took the other T-top off so you can see what it looks like with and without. So the body looks to be in real nice shape. It's a beautiful burgundy color. When the light hits it a certain way, the little metal flake really dance. Uh, and the paint is one of those, when you see it, it's like, wow, it's gorgeous. It presents itself really well. There are imperfections that you will know about because you own the car. But like here's a little hairline crack right here. There's some little texture here and there, like a little dust in the paint. Here's a little hairline crack in the hood. Um, yeah, just miscellaneous small imperfections. There's a little nub in the paint. There's a little touch up right here. So that's, that's what we got going with the paint. Up front, it looks like the bumper and the grill and the turn signals, this stuff all looks new down here. It's got the little chin spoiler. That all looks new and fresh. The windshield looks like it's new. So the T-tops come off. They actually store behind there. And up until 72, this rear window pops right out as well. And there's a little storage compartment for the window. So it all fits behind the seat. So it's practically like a convertible with a roll bar. I was just asking, we were talking about, you see these on Corvettes and Mustangs, and you know, obviously people don't put anything on them, but I wonder when the car was new, back in the day, did, did people actually put stuff on these luggage racks? So 
leave your comments if you or your parents or anyone you knew actually used those. Uh, but it's nice and shiny. New correct antenna. There is a crack coming off by the antenna area there. The rear bumpers are beautiful. The tail light lenses we replaced. So all the chrome and trim is really sparkling. 15 by 8 rally wheels. Uh, the wheel looks real good. The trim is beautiful. That just sparkling. Uh, yeah, this has definitely been a body uh, frame. I'm looking at the frame right here, and it's smooth and glossy. Yep, I can see the new body bushings right there. So it is a frame off restored car. These louver inserts are optional. Otherwise, they just be the color of the car. You know, BF Goodrich tires, obviously. So I think that wraps up the outside. Why don't we open it up, see what we got going on inside. So let us know any of your luggage rack stories if you got them. And this is that back window. Like I said, it pops right out. It lifts out of there and stores behind the seat. I'm going to clamp it back in place. So the door jams look like they were painted nicely. The weather strips and the sill plates and the window seals up on top were replaced. And those are new, uh, nice new deluxe door panels, new window cranks. This dash pad might have been replaced. It's in mint condition. The instrument panel, the speedometer, the tachometer, all nice and clean, nice chrome bezels. Now this here, these vents are a little dirty and this black is a little chipped up. That'd be pretty easy to touch up. The gauge cluster looks good. The radio is brand new. We just put the radio and speakers. Looks like it has an auxiliary plug. This could use a little detailing. Heater control panel looks nice. Has the correct reverse lockout shifter. And it says right here, it's a 350 horsepower with 380 pounds of torque, 11 to one compression. Uh, this piece here could be dialed in a little better. It's supposed to be squeezed tight, so something's not fitting exactly right. Not a big deal. Upholstery looks like it's redone in excellent shape. Uh, it has headrests. I don't know if the headrests were optional or standard in 69, but it has them. The back of the seat's real nice. Carpet front to back is in real good shape. Back window compartment is right under here. And then the T-tops, you just store them in there, and then you got some compartments and batteries in one of them. The headliner under the T-tops, the mirror, the visors all look nice. Great leather cushion wheel. I really like that steering wheel a lot. So a little bit of detailing, tidying up around the console. And they sell all that stuff new, too. So this is a VIN number match 350 with the optional 350 horsepower. Um, <clears throat> it's got stock manifolds. Actually, coming off the exhaust manifold, it still has the pollution equipment in place. It has the finned valve covers. It's manual brakes. It has the ignition shielding. Alternator looks new. The shroud, the radiator, all that looks really good. And it is a factory air-conditioned car. So here's the compressor, all hooked up. I'll go through the list of things we did in a minute, but you can see the vacuum cans that controls the wiper door and the headlight doors. We spent a lot of time and got all that working properly. Underside of the hood, if I owned the car, I'd probably take the hood off, have the bottom cleaned and painted a nice semi-gloss black. Run smooth. You know, it's unfortunate. It's raining right now, but it's not going to melt, and we will have this thing wiped off in about five minutes. So, I want to talk a little bit about our service. We've just built a new 
uh, service facility, 10,000 square feet. Our cars get checked when they come in and then they get double checked right before they ship out. This one in particular, we spent $3,960 getting it dialed in. Uh, here's what we did. We rebuilt the carburetor. Uh, we adjusted the clutch. We put in a new backup light switch. Uh, we put in a new headlight switch. We replaced or repaired three vacuum leaks pertaining to the uh, headlight doors. Uh, they spent four hours chasing down vacuum leaks for the wiper door. Uh, we installed, uh, well, we fixed the horn. I uh, repaired a leak at the wiper solenoid. We had to remove the transmission because the speedometer wasn't working. The gear inside the transmission was bad. So we removed the transmission just to replace a little gear so the speedometer works. <clears throat> the, uh, we replaced the amp gauge. We replaced the temp sending unit so the temp gauge works. Uh, we put the stereo and speakers in the car. Uh, we fixed the left tail light, brake lights. Uh, replaced the door lock cylinders so you can lock the car. Uh, we replaced the left front caliper and bled the whole system. And that was about the extent of what we did. So there's value in that. There's $4,000 worth of work that you're getting from us that if you just bought it on the street, you'd be paying for all that. So to recap, it's an older frame-off restoration, beautiful colors. It's the high horsepower 350 uh, with a four-speed and a posi, and then factory air conditioning in there as well. Go to volocars.com. Salesmen can help answer your questions. They can help get this delivered to your door. They can help you finance it if you go to volocars.com. Appreciate you watching the videos. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon. That way you're notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.